so I wanted to share something uh, very deep, I think, and trying to understand really what's happening um, to the world, um, and, spe spe and but more specifically speaking about the male-female gender, um, you know, the rise of the feminist movement and the female movement power in the world or and in Judaism also. Um, it's like it looks like there's a reawakening, and uh, what's why there's such a big thing with homosexuality and uh, transgender and all those um, sexual things? What, where does it come from? Where does it? Where is it rooted? Why is there are there such challenges and difficulties uh, in creation, and why there's such a big fight? pro or against it. Um, so I wanted to give her a bit of a perspective from a Jewish point of view, um, from the Torah point of view. And it really, almost all the secrets, all the answers are hidden in the story of Gan Eden. Everything goes after the beginning, right? The, the, the root, the seed, everything starts there. So what do we see? I, I want to read the first verse of the Torah a little bit differently. It says, Bereshit bara Elohim et Hashemayim The way it's re usually read is um, in the beginning of God's creating the heaven and the earth. Uh, the truth is, this is just one of the many ways we can really understand it. We know that the Torah is a code. But here, the way I would like to learn it is, um, here we know the Torah starts with a base Meaning, starting that it's already Bereshit bara Elokim et Hashem ve'Zaret. Meaning that at the beginning he created Elokim, and with this et Hashem ve'Zaret. But who created? It doesn't say who created. But we know it's speaking about the force, the power. In the beginning, he created bara Elo uh, Elokim. He created Elokim. The forces that made the entire world and which includes two main parts Shamaim Vaitz. So so who is who is the one who created Elohim? It's Yud Kevavke. Um because Elohim doesn't mean God, it means powers. So Yud Kevavke, the name of Hashem uh, that uh, we are trying to learn about, that the, the whole Kabbalah is based on, the, that the whole Judaism is trying, and on, on Har Sinai, that we learn about knowing Hashem, knowing His name. Uh, we, 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 it's, it's, we want to make Shemo Echad, His name one. So what's happening? Yud Kevavke represents the male aspect of the world, so to speak. I mean, God is is not neither male or female. Everything is to understand the role and the power and, and, the, and the mission that each one has here. So God, Yud Kevavke, uh, which is who was the king yet without a queen, decided to create a world to have a queen. Okay, He doesn't need it. He just wants it to be that way. He wants to share his good the good of the king, the king doesn't find anybody to share the good with, so he decides, because that's his nature, that he wants that good to be shared. Um, so he wants, but he doesn't need. So what he does, he creates the queen. Bereshit bara Elohim, God creates the queen, Elohim is the queen, he creates a world. He makes a symptom and he creates a world which, and the whole world is female. The whole world is female, and what you have in that world, Elohim, there's many, many powers, but Elohim is Midatadin. So that's what God wants. Midatadin is the, the is, is, is the, how do you say, is the world ruled through a certain laws, there's certain boundaries now, and that boundaries has to, that, that those laws, those foul powers are. Uh, directed all in order to be ha able to have a relation with God. So there needs to be rules on that on how it works, otherwise there is no purpose. So that's why God at the beginning wanted to create the world in, uh, with, with an, according to Midas Adin. So according to uh, the, the attribute of judgment. 
um, and, and restrictions and limitations. And, but that's positive. That's a positive. We, need, we all need rules to be able to function in society. To be able to take the good and to make the good flow, we need, to, we need Midasadin. So what's happening? Um, so God creates Elohim, so he creates a wife, and, and, and that brings heaven and earth. Heaven and earth is also the same thing. One is male, one is female. Um, those are the female, heaven and earth, spiritual and physical, represents the male and the female relationship. Um, and that helps us understand, okay, there's a female and female, there's a giver and there's a receiver, and we have to have a relationship. But uh, th that, So those two represent, um, now helps us understand a little bit also um, Adam and Eve, and the, the, the Israel and the other nations. So you have God wants a wife, and same thing, Adam wants a wife, so... Um, but Adam was supposed to be that wife originally, right? Adam was supposed to be that wife that wants to connect to God, but Adam doesn't understand that he sees himself only as a male power and doesn't want, doesn't want or doesn't realize or doesn't choose yet to be a God's wife. So God takes the woman out of him again, just like God took, Yud Kevavke took Elohim out of himself, now he takes the woman out of Adam, um, as the Ezekiel. So the man is supposed to be the Ezekiel for for a God, right? Which men meaning Adam. The world is supposed to be the Ezekiel for God, and we experience it now with men and women relationship to be the Ezekiel to to the spouse. Um, and the same thing with Jew and non-Jew. The Jew is the one who connects to Yud Kevavke. The non-Jew is the one to correspond to the name Elohim. So, um, uh, the, and that's why we say that the Jews and non-Jews are supposed to be like a, like a spouse, um, but it, each one has to stay who he is. I mean, a Jew choosing to be a non-Jew, it's like he's choosing to be gay, so to speak. I'm not saying anything against homosexuality or that, but a non-Jew trying to be a Jew uh, is also the same thing. The Jew, who, uh, there's Jewish soul and non-Jewish soul. A, a Jewish soul sometimes goes and becomes non-Jewish, or sometimes a Jewish soul, a non-Jewish soul goes into a Jewish body and really has to it becomes to become non-Jewish. Each one has its own function, male and female power, and uh, they have to work, learn, learn to work in harmony, but still stay themselves. Um, and then you have, so therefore, the Jew connects to Yud Kevavke, Lemala Mina Teva. Elohim is the world of Teva, that's the non Jew, and who is in charge of this world and running this world in a way that is beautiful, so that the Jew can have the mission of bringing spirituality in the world and, 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 uh, and elevate the non Jew. In a way, so God, what's happening, God, uh, that we see that he brings, like, Ach, at Adam, he takes the man and seduces him to come into the garden. He said, you're going to see, we're going to do something together. You're going to work the garden. And at the end, you're going to have reward. But he has to entice him. He says, that is the Lashon by um, uh, who he, he's trying to convince him and to seduce him. God is seducing his wife, so to speak. Adam is going to be using his world to um, do some, some work in a relationship so that then after something great is going to come out of it. And the same thing, in a way, the Jew has to seduce the non-Jew in by being enlightened to the nation, or like by being uh, teaching the Torah and being role models and saying, together we can work and, and, and achieve something together. We can get married to God together. Um, and the man also has to seduce his spouse um, to convince her to... To, to get married to him and um, to right and and uh, therefore um, that's that's the male's role in Judaism the male's role to seduce and we know that uh, uh, in by all the animals when we watch the animals that's really what's happening it's always the male who, who does some kind of dance and seducing thing to um, seduce the female now. So now we can understand a bit what the problem of homosexuality. Homosexuality is not is 
is, is a bit like Avodah Zara, meaning that I choose to be in touch with the opposite um, gender, but indirectly. Meaning, I, the, when we refuse to have a direct relationship with God, um, in a way, God had to create the woman, and any direct, uh, indirect relationship with God, that's Avodah Zara. And that's why Avodah Zara and says the whole point of Avodah Zara is to be able to be with a woman, uh, to be with a, have a sexual intimacy, says the Gemara. So this is a, this is a mix of, you know, uh, Avodah Zara meaning a strange service. It's a service that is strange. It's a relationship that is strange. So me choosing to be with a, 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 the same sex, same gender, is saying. I don't feel comfortable enough to have a direct relationship with a woman, so I'm going to have a relationship with them with the same gender. I'm not, I don't f with a man. I don't feel comfortable having a relationship with with a man, so I'm going to have a relationship with a woman if that's a woman. Uh, and therefore, we choose an intermediary not to face the kenegdo. That's what we did with, with the cheta eagle of Zara. Um, and and interesting, the women didn't participate. It was the male. The, only the males who participate, only the Erevra, but only the male. I mean, it's a male problem. Adam Arishon didn't recognize himself as God's queen, it was his wife. He, want, he saw himself primarily as the male gender and the one who is going to give. So uh, it, it is a male problem. The male ego, um, and Vodah Zara is the, also connected to the ego, and disconnect from that. I don't need that. I choose what I serve, so to speak. I choose how it should be. So, so this is why we come now at the end of time where the female power, who is a tremendous power, and is not lower than men, it's just a, a different, it's, it's the relationship, what enables the men to become greater. And that tremendous power of the woman, Moshe hasn't come, and the redemption is going to come thanks to the holy women, and it's not thanks to the holy men, thanks to the holy women, because the women is the power, the female power that comes out. It might not necessarily mean just the women, it might mean the female into, uh, you know, the, the righteous people who are female, who understand how to be really God's spouse. And, um, and, 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 the, and, and the Elohim, right? The woman is Elohim, so he has to, f we have to connect to all those tremendous power that we're given as human beings to be the wife of God. We have tremendous power. And we have to learn to use this this world. But there is a rise, the feminist movement and all that, because now we're going back to the beginning. We're trying to heal the, the, the root, right? And Mount, uh, the, the, which is the same thing at Mount Sinai was the beginning. We were, we were able to go back to the beginning. But right away, when we went to the beginning, was the Cheta Egel. There was the scene. We decided to want intermediary. We know, God, we don't want to have a direct relation with you. We can't hear your voice. It's too intense. So they decided to go into um, intermediary relationship, uh, they decide to become, so to speak, um, ho uh, homosexual. Um, and that, and that, 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 that's the challenge. Today we are dealing with people are completely confused about I'm a male, I'm a female, I'm supposed to be Jewish, not Jewish, what, what's good, what's, you know, all that... And there's a confusion of the roles, and there's a confusion of the power of male and the power of female. Um, and the, the female power get, comes and becomes now revealed. But because the, the good of the woman is becoming more and more powerful, realize how great the woman is. Re, re, the, and the Jews also have to realize how great the non-Jews are. It's a recognition, you know, it, it's, w w there's nobody better than anybody else here. It's not a competition. The problem is a tremendous competition, and, and, and therefore this competition is a fight between the gender. So we have to go back to, to the beginning where we realize that, yes, to be a female is tremendously powerful, and I should not try to escape it. I have to embrace it. Every, everybody has a male-female in them, but there is one that is dominant. I have to allow... Um, my my female part to play a role, and if I'm male physically, then I have to assume that role. If I'm uh, female physically, I have to assume that role, and it doesn't mean that my soul is necessarily uh, male or, f or or female because of my body. 
but there's the inner and then the outer and that we have the same thing with the bo body and soul so what's the body and soul the soul is the male and the body is the female and some people just want to be soul soul and just like you don't want to be super holy and not connected at all to the physical and that's the only thing that matters is the spiritual and then people who want, just want to be female no just female female I just want the physical I don't want to be connected to God at all I just uh, and that's going to bring the two extreme religions you're going to have Islam which is the ext extreme left I, 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 it's nothing about the, the eastern world are all about spirituality, like Buddhism or that, but, but Islam is the extreme right, which is uh, completely all about uh, God only. I'm re I, I don't care about the physical, I blow myself up, you know, and, and there's completely disregard for the female, no respect for female, because it's all about male power, male power. And then uh, by... I speak in, about the extremists, right? With the extreme, there's always a balance. Every religion has the good ones, so to speak. But even in Judaism, you have the same thing. And then you have the the in in Christianity, which is the opposite, which is all about the physical, and therefore it, they even make God physical, and it's all the, the 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 pain of the flesh and 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 the sin and 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 that we are we're born as sinners and. Uh, we have to constantly repent and we're guilty. That's um, and, um, and 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 it's even a disconnection to the from the women. The priest cannot get married to a woman. It's two separate thing. Um, um, right. So so uh, 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 and then in in Judaism also is the same thing. In Judaism we have. The extreme right, like the fanatics who just want to learn, 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 and pray, and pray, and learn, and meditate, and not be connected at all to the physical world. And then you have the ones who are only connected to uh, the physical and very involved with, with the world. Medinat Israel, um, the Chiloni, so to speak, uh, the, the Zionist, it's all about the land and the, the earth and, and the physical and working and be successful financially, but not think about the spiritual. And they're both wrong. It has to be a balance between the two. Um, right? And that's why you have Abraham, Yitzchak, and Jacob. But we're called Bnei Yaakov, Bnei Israel, because we need to find the balance. Abraham, so to speak, because it's the, on Kabbalah, the, he went extreme chesed, so he created Ishmael, went on the opposite side, and, and, and ex extreme... Um, Left, so he became all about God, 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 and then you have uh, Yitzhak who created Esav because Esav was the extreme left. He created Esav, which is the opposite right, which is extreme, um, just the physical, 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 because he's the perversion of the of the left, of, of which is the the woman. Yitzhak is the perversion. It brought part of it. The clipot was Esau, which the extreme extreme left, and then Ishmael was from the extreme right. Uh, it's all about spiritual, physical, physical. So uh, the the extreme right good and extreme left bad. And then Jacob, named Jacob in Israel, which is uh, Yosef, Yosef who can be a tzaddik, Yosef who is involved into the physical world but still directly connected to God. But that was was the debate. Yosef is uh, uh, there's also male and female there. Y Yosef is the female, and and the brothers are the male. That's why ya yeah they have Ashkenaz and Sephardim. Ashkenaz will come from um, well, so that's a debate. Who is who? Um, but actually, Yosef will be not. It will be more the male. Yosef is the tzaddik. Is the male aspect. Was Yesod. And is the male and Ashkenaz, that's how it says in Kabbalah, if I remember correctly. And Yehuda and the brothers is the Sephardi, is the one who is more involved with the ground. That's why the Sephardim is more uh, emotional type of Judaism, more physical, more uh, all very tasty food, very huggy, very a lot of kissing, a lot of song, very female aspect, a lot of colors. The Ashkenaz is more cold, is more intellectual. He has the yeshivot. Uh, is more connected to the spiritual, um, and uh, yes, and what happening is they have to marry each other, meaning they have to create a bond, 
um, that that a harmony. Not one is better than the other. So what helped us survive in exile actually is is the tzaddik, but is the Yosef is the is the male power, the Torah, the light of the Torah. But we have to understand that it's 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 we don't we don't need just tzaddikim. We need we need the chilonim. We need the 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 other aspect, the all the sfarim to come back. And now we have a rise of the again of the sfardi power coming out like never before. It was quiet. It was mostly Ashkenaz before all the yeshivot. Now the Sfarim are rising up with Rav Vadia Yosef and the, the whole new community. Um, it was dormant. Um, so we, we have really to realize that it's on many, many levels. Everything is about male, female. Um, and that's why it's so much struggle today where we're trying to recreate the balance and learn to have a relationship with God. Uh, on the level of that, so on the level of 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 being the wife of God, um, it's man's constant fight with his ego to want to be male and have power and success. And the main the the thing where we have to be extreme, the only trait character trait where we have to be extreme is humility. To do on the other side of arrogance, all that all of the traits. Almost all the traits says the Rambam we have been in the middle, but humility on the opposite side because that's what made us fall in the same at the very beginning. You know, we say, how can it be two suns? How can it be two lights? No, oh, you know, God, God say, okay, you're, you're right. If that's a problem for you, then I'll make you into the moon. I'll make you, you know. Um, we didn't, we didn't accept that there was so much power. There was too much ego, and therefore we have to. Be really humble and realize the man, especially the man in the in the in the in the the man should not think in his house. He's the boss. He's the best. He's the man. He's working. No, the the female is great. And there was a problem with Adam Arishan at the beginning when he met Chava. He saw him her only an extension of himself. He didn't realize her greatness. He didn't realize that he's equal. And he has she has the heart. She has the emotions. He has the the physical power and that's why the woman is usually more physical because she represents that physicality and materiality and the man needs to see that beauty and see that there's beauty in the physical and that he's not greater same thing the neshama has to see the beauty of the body she will appreciate the body that we are supposed to appreciate this world the material the physical but understand that not one is greater than the other if it's all about the physical it destroys everything if it's all the body about the body it destroys everything if it's just about the soul we also destroy everything there's no purpose the soul needs the body to come close to god the spiritual need the physical to get elevated and together it's a combination or Lama is a combination of the spiritual and the physical the soul and the body coming together and celebrating that unification that work that they have done to be together here and to be able to go to Lama and experience the babies we are God's wife and we are here to make babies with God so to speak we're here to bring out the, it's good to produce. God gives us potential energy, life, zera, and we're supposed to take that gun, that garden, that life, that power uh, of, that we're given, that Elohim, the the, the 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 forces that are in creation, and use it and and produce and give birth to a world that is even better than before. So that this is our participation. And God said, "I participate, and you participate. We're fifty-fifty. We're marriage." And we and together we create something even more beautiful. But I want God to say I don't want to force you. I don't need angels. I want you to be a real woman who chooses her husband. I'm seducing you, of course, because I want to see for you, for you to see what it is that there is for you. Because I only want your good. As the man has to seize the girl and and bring her in his house and show her what it is that that she can have by being with him. And that together they can create something even more beautiful than being alone. And that without her I cannot do it. So the woman, you know, sees that and, and wants it. And we have to see that about being in this world and enjoying this world. That's an opportunity to be married to God and to produce and make the world a better place by choosing God. God wants us to choose Him, not to be servants and slaves and just follow. He wants us to choose that love. We are, and that's... That his, he, 
Hashem Echad, or Shemo Echad, his name will be one, meaning Elohim, and, and it's only one name, Yudke Vake, Elohim came from Yudke Vake, everything is going to be back to one, Vedavek the, Be'ishto, we have to attach ourselves to our spouse, to our body, Hashem wants to attach itself to us, and we have to want to attach, let ourselves be attached to Hashem, because Hashem is, is already, He wants to be Davek, He's the male, He He's using he wants us, but we have to show that we are ready. Hashem come knocks on the door in Shir Hashirim. He knocks on the door and, and the wife, but we're not responding. The, your, your husband is there, he's waiting, and we are we're being slow. We, we, we get distracted. We do Abu Nazara. We, get, we want other things. Why don't you choose the most greatest pleasure? God. So we, we, we have to really make that choice and, and, and realize that Hashem will just want the good for us. It's all for that. But it's a process now that we're not in Gan Eden anymore. It's a process that we have to work on to get close to Him. So, um, and that's why we say in Shema, why is Shema, that's the, uh, the Jewish anthem, that's the Jewish mantra, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad, Hashem is Elokeinu, meaning that it's us, we are Elokim, and Hashem Elokim, and eventually Hashem Echad is all going to go back to one, that's Basar Echad. You, Hashem and His Shechina, male, female aspect, and we, the Jewish people, represent the Shechina. And if we can do it with Hashem, then the world will be able, the world will be able to do it with Hashem. So uh, I know that was a little bit uh, intense and uh, <laughs> a lot of things, but everything is parallel together. Um, uh, it will give you some food for thoughts, and hopefully. Um, will will you know help us understand the world better? I want just to add something, a few other things. Um, that the 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 world is choshech. Um, the world is choshech, and the, sometimes we look at the female as choshech in Kabbalah, in Sitra Chara, whatever. That uh, we think that the evil is is the left side is the choshech, and really. It's not, it's filled with light, it's here to challenge us, like the Yetzirah is here to challenge us, that's what is the connection between the woman and the Yetzirah, the man has the Yetzirah, because he wants to look for the woman, but it's really a matter of direction, or redirecting the Yetzirah, redirecting the female power, and seeing that the Chosher is only here for to help us grow. Yotzer Oru Bore Chosher, Bore Chosher is a high level than the light, in a way, because it's here to create something new, it's something that wasn't here before, it's an opportunity for... For growth, but we need to go for the chosher. But that's why we sometimes we look at women as female as as weaker, and because physically is weaker, the 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 the, the is the, the the male is the one who has the strength. Interesting, the male is chesed, the male is chesed, and the male is the one who has more muscle physically. Because if the dean the female had more muscle, then there'll be an imba imbalance, and it will it won't be appropriate. Because the true power really comes from the spiritual side. And the female just learn to harness the, 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 that power. But it's not about being strong. Well, strong is about having direction. Who, who is strong? Ezehu Gibor, or the one who can harness that energy of the male, of the chesed, of the spiritual. That's who is strong. So therefore, you don't need to be physically strong. It's a, it's a different type of strength. Is the, the is what the man puts on the left arm, right? The chesed puts on the left arm, the gvura, the woman, female power, to control the the energy of the female, which has a lot of potential. The din is boundaries, is gvura. The woman, is, the woman is strong. Um, so, yes, I wanted uh, somehow to. To connect to that because you understand the female is, is, is weaker physically because if she was stronger physically it will be a world pure, purely deep there will be no room for uh, spirituality um, um, and originally was supposed to be balanced meaning so to speak that the man and the female were supposed to have the same power of strength um, 
or, or, or we should say differently that the female, the woman, Chava, was supposed, or Adam, Adam when he was still one, Zerenekeva, was the female, and he had tremendous power. I mean, it's called Elohim, so even physically, that was, it was super power. And then God saw that if we give too much power to the, to the female, to the, the physical, the spiritual is going to be, you know, swallowed up. This is going to be a misunderstanding. So he lowered that power, that level of the, of the left of the, of the female, um, to, so that not to lose um, sight of that chesed is the source. It is the primary energy to work from. And then if I disregard it and don't see that as an equal, then the female is going to overpower it and, and, and there's going to be no more spiritual anymore. It's the end of the world, um, which is a bit what happened with the uh, time of Noah, where they was, it went completely into the fee female. It was all about stealing, stealing the potential, stealing and, and all Gilu Arayas. It was all about um, female... Uh, uh, was all about sexuality, and it says that the flood happened because then they started to legalize um, marriage with a transgender marriage, homosexual marriage, and, and marriage with animals. I Meaning, it's, it, it's, it's the complete br uh, collapse of the female power in the world, of the world, um, and, and that's represented by the sexuality and the whole, the whole role gender misunderstanding. Um, Okay, I think uh, <laughs> I confused everyone enough, uh, but I think those are tremendous insight and um, we need to learn from them and they can really give us a lot of clarity of what's, what's happening today in the world and, um, and how to have a happy marriage, right? Moshiach is the gonna, the result says the only true perfect couple is gonna be Moshiach. It's going to be Moshe and his wife. Why? Because they're going to show how to have a true, perfect balance between physical and spiritual, male and female. That's really what will happen. Um, so again, I'm not speaking against homosexuality. I'm not speaking against uh, a, a male or female. It's all, we all have to love each other. There has to be a perfect balance. Um, but understanding that really... There needs to be a harmony. The male should not try to just be with male. The female should not try to just be with female. There needs to be a unity from both sides. And that's challenging. That's hard. It's putting light and darkness together. It's putting spiritual and physical together. It's putting a man and a woman together. Uh, of the, uh, like a opposite gender together. Is there a negdo? It has to be an opposite that pushes him the other direction. Otherwise, he's going to just stay one one side. So it's not just about spiritual, not just about physical. It's to find the right balance. Uh, so, may we be successful. And uh, may God help us to find the balance in our lives. Uh, we all have male and female in us. Like I said, hormone-wise, but also the soul and the body. So may we all be able to achieve that perfect balance and learn to be a king and a queen and for, with ourselves and a queen for Hashem. And God willing, uh, that will be our role model for the whole rest of the world and the rest of the world will know how to be also a wife for God and the world will come back, the whole symptom, the whole where we come back together as one. And it's interesting in the Tsim Tsum chart, it's a one big black hole, round hole, which represents the female, the Igulim, which is the female, and the Akaba Yashar, which is the male, 